Recently, I met this incredible girl, Sarah, through a mutual friend. From the start, we clicked on so many levels. She's hilarious and smart, and we shared a lot of interests. After a few great dates, I thought we might really have something special. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth, and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, am I the a-hole for telling a girl I won't date her because she's a single MOM. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. I, 24 male, recently met this incredible girl Sarah, 23 female, through a mutual friend. From the start, we clicked on so many levels. She's hilarious and smart, and we share a lot of interests. After a few great dates, I thought we might really have something special. A couple of weeks ago, Sarah sat me down and shared something important. Okay, I think every man dreads the honey, we need to talk moment. So what could it be? The kind of STD that's incurable? Is she a dude? Right now, in the comments section, tell me what would be your nightmare scenario if this was you. A couple of weeks ago, Sarah sat me down and shared something important. She has a three-year-old son. She had him when she was young and the father passed away two years ago. She told me that she has a solid support system and manages everything well. But honestly, I was caught off guard. I hadn't even considered the possibility that she might be an MOM. I took a few days to think it over and realized that I was just not ready for that kind of responsibility. It's not that I have anything against her or her son. It's just that I am still figuring out my own life. I knew I had to be honest with her. So we met up for coffee. Okay, as a rule, I'm in the camp of don't date single moms as a plethora of reasons. Sure, there are some single, mo single MOMs out there who are dateable and will not subject you to the toxic drama of their personal baggage. However, those women are rare. Personally, if I see a bunch of green flags and she's a widow, meaning she didn't choose to be a single mom, I may consider playing a little. Who knows? This is a rare circumstance. And note, I said the key word, consider. I told her, as gently as I could, that while I think she's amazing, I don't think I'm ready to be involved with someone who has a child. I explained that it's more about where I am in my own life and less about her and her son. Really? Um, can't we not be honest? It is about her and her son. There's nothing wrong with having a standard or having a preference not to be involved in something like that. She seemed to understand, but I could tell she was hurt and disappointed. Yeah, well, she waited until she thought you were emotionally invested or perhaps she thought she had you charmed and it would have been too late for you to back out. Later, our mutual friend told me that Sarah felt really judged and hurt by my decision. She said it was unfair to dismiss her just because she's a single MOM and that I should have given her more of a chance. Slap to the back of the head of your friend. Oh, so when women reject a guy because, oh, I don't know, they don't like their shoes, height, race, or he doesn't make six fingers, that's okay. 
But when a man has a preference and standards, he's a judgmental villain in the local story of life. Newsflash, people. Men are allowed to have our standards and boundaries. Most wise men do not seriously date single MONs due to the inherent risks for men if it goes bad, as it often does. Now, I'm feeling really conflicted. On one hand, I believe it's better to be upfront about my feelings rather than leading her on. But on the other hand, I hate the idea that I may have made her feel bad about something she can't control. So, am I the a-hole for telling Sarah I wouldn't date her because she's a single M-O-M? Okay, first off, you are not the a-hole. Secondly, they are. I don't know if you caught it, but it is clear to me they conspired to withhold the truth from you from the very beginning. Your so-called mutual friend should have told you she was a single M-O-M up front. Did she? No. Did they? No. Then Sarah waits until you have some kind of connection, hopefully strong enough that when she drops the bomb on you, you will overlook it and not kick her to the curb. Third, then this mutual friend attempts to manipulate you by shaming your choices and stated preferences and standards. All of this says to me that they were in cahoots and this was one massive manipulation plot from the beginning. Personally, my brother, you need to kick this mutual friend to the curb. She has shown you she has no emotional or honorable fidelity to you. Nope. Slide her out the back of a C-130 strapped to a pallet and keep on flying. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channels. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, defeats, as we work together to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and this support helps me make more content for you.